I'm going to talk about when I get a piece of chewing gum. Oh, before I start, if I don't think of something important and I want to add it after I finish the video, I'll write it in the description below the video. I'm not sure which side the description will be on for you or in the center. Or want to change something that I said, um, add something, subtract something, um, or whatever else, correct something. Um, but I want to talk about how when I get a piece of chewing gum, how, how it usually ends for me. Because I, I don't know what other people do with it in all cases, but in most cases, I'm guessing people throw it away. Anyway, here's a piece of gum, but I don't, that I've chewed a bit. And normally, I would at least chew this by itself till all the flavor is gone. In this case, there's a little bit of flavor, but... I'm going to sacrifice it to make this video. So, the main way that a piece of chewing gum ends for me is that while I'm chewing the gum, I also eat some solid food. And the chewing gum, when it's eaten with solid food, seems to kind of lose its elasticity, its chewiness, and kind of break up and kind of mix with the solid food and just get swallowed along with the swallowing the, the chewed up solid food. So in this case, I have a bar. I've eaten part of that. I'm going to take a bite and my camera won't bend enough up close. So I'm going to take a bite back here and then come back to the camera. Um, I've got the chewing gum now, and it's chewing up with the solid food. Um, in most cases, it'll take two or three bites of solid food to break up, totally break up a piece of chewing gum so that it's gone. So, here, the chewing gum is still chewy in there. The chewing gum has a more solid texture than the food that it's kind of around it or kind of mixed with it. But, I can tell that the chewing gum is not as, uh, as kind of strong in its as it was before I ate the, the, the solid food. So I'm chewing up and I think maybe there's not as much of it now. At least a little bit maybe got swallowed with the solid food. So I'm chewing. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what the chewing gum looks like. So it's darker. It still looks pretty big, but I think there's a little, not quite as big as it started out. Or actually, I don't know, it might actually have looked bigger there on camera. Well, it could have incorporated some solid food in it. But from experience, I kind of know it's broken up a little bit from the texture. And if I do that with solid food once or twice or three times more, the, the chewing gum will all go. It'll totally get broken up and swallow with the food. I don't think it's harmful. I think people might worry about that. Um, as far as I know, if you accidentally swallow your piece of chewing gum, it's not going to harm you. It'll get broke. I think it'll, I don't know for sure. I think it'll get somewhat broken up by your digestive system. Or maybe some of it will pass through. And 
um, if there's any nutrients in it, the digestive system extracts nutrients from whatever you eat or swallow, if it can. And I suppose the rest, it just sends on to your waste products. So I think that's what would happen. Just a moment. So it'll extract it. I don't know if it can extract much from chewing gum. I don't know what happens, but anyway, wherever it can't use, I think it will just send to your waste products. That would be your urine and feces. Oh, I took the phone off the hook, but now it's beeping. This is interesting. As I've chewed it more, it actually cleaned up some. You saw before it was a little dark from that wafer. And actually, I see a little bit of it came off on my fingers. It softened up somehow from being eaten with that wafer. Now, I think the amount looks a little smaller from how it started out. I'm not sure. But anyway, if I ate it with solid food of any kind, it's going to get broken up after two or three bites, I would say. So that's all pretty simple. As I say, I think it's harmless, and actually I prefer to eat it rather than just toss it. To me, it's less wasteful. Others may, well, it may not have any nutrients. In that case, would it be bad to toss it? I don't know. I'd still try to eat it, uh, thinking it has something for me, um, and it feels good. It feels like not wasting it, but others may differ. Um, I can, I think I'll take another bite and see what happens here. Hmm. This time it's breaking up a lot. This may do it. This may finish it. Hmm. Now, I'll tell you, at this, at this moment, I happen to have that wafer to eat with it. A lot of times I don't have solid food on ham. And when, when I get tired of chewing the gum and it's lost its flavor, most of my diet is, is fluid dairy products, mostly milk, like you see behind me. Yeah, I think this gum is gone. So, two bites. I'll spit the gum in the milk. Um... Well, sometimes I'll just, if I'm chewing it I and, I and the milk isn't nearby, I'll just set it to one side. But eventually, it, it often makes its way into the milk. Yeah, this gum is calm. Mm. And in the milk, well... Generally, with my milk, I keep other foods. I often do put other foods in there because somehow I acquire other foods too. Either people give them to me. Sometimes on the street, I find sealed food and eat that. Um, anyway, I think, I'm not sure, the gum probably would settle to the bottom. And eventually, when I tip it back, I'll... I'll get it, and maybe chew it again for a, little, a while, and then spit it back in the milk. Or if I tip the milk back and the gum comes out with solid food, maybe the gum will get chewed with some solid food and disintegrated. Or maybe it'll stay in the milk a while, and sort of after a few days, I will get some solid food. So that I don't put in the milk. A lot of times I'll kind of put solid food in the milk too, either straight into the nozzle or I'll use a big funnel 
maybe I'll cut the food into bits and put it straight in the nozzle or stuff it down through the funnel. But at some point, the gum's going to get mixed with food in my mouth, a, a piece of solid food. And one way or another, eventually the same thing will happen that you saw here. Here it was pretty fast because the gum wasn't in the milk. It, it was, um, I had separate solid food. The solid food wasn't in the milk. It was separated out and the gum was separated out. So they just got eaten together. I kind of did that deliberately for the video, but that can, that happens actually in real life too, um, for me. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's what I do with, with gum. Um, it's worked out pretty good. I've done it for years. It seems to work. I haven't noticed any problems. I hope there's no problems with it. Maybe it'll catch up with me one day, but I feel okay about it. I'm not advising you to do it. Um, it's giving, I guess it's an option, but you'd have to decide whether it's right for you. Maybe, oh, everything I've read said it on the internet says it's not harmful if you accidentally swallow your gum. I haven't read about anyone eating gum like this with solid food. But if it's not harmful to swallow your gum alone, it ought to be not harmful to swallow, eat it with other food. Of course, when they say it's not harmful to swallow your gum alone, they mean once in a while, accidentally. Whereas with me, every piece of gum I get, I, uh, I end up swallowing it, broken up, but swallowing it. But I don't get gum very often. I never buy it. Um, so the only way I acquire it, well, to be honest, mostly I acquire it because I find it on the street. Um, and that's a second controversy. A lot of people wouldn't need anything from the street. And that's your prerogative. I'm okay with it. I mean, anything I find on the street, I check it visually. If it looks okay, most of the time it's sealed. The packages are still sealed, but... In fact, this gum I actually did get on the street. I found that on the street. And you can open it. You can see the gums down in there. To me, no one has eaten those or touched them. So they're okay to chew. Others wouldn't do it. And I... Uh, meh, it's their prerogative. I mean... I could criticize people, I guess, who walk past food perfect food that I think is perfectly good and, and would never consume it, but it is your choice, their choice, your choice. Anyway, um, but it did bring up, I mean, I, I think sometimes I get, and sometimes on the street, lots of times you'll find gum that's totally unopened. This happened to be open where this plastic seal had been torn and this was openable. But sometimes you'll find sticks of gum that are totally in their wrappers, completely clean. Um, anyway, um, and then probably I get gum just, you know, where someone may, I don't know. I know I found, at some point my mom stopped chewing gum. She always chewed gum. And then she stopped, but she had bought a good amount that just sat in her drawers. So I chewed that. That was that was not from the street. That was bought in a store and brought home and put in a drawer. Any and I. So anyway, um, I think that's my story. So uh, take from it what you will. You had seen that milk behind me. Um, what happens with me, I drink a lot of milk. So when I get a, a, a milk container, I'll drink it down a ways and then I'll add fresh milk to it from a, a new container. Um, 
and I'll keep doing that for a while. So I would say with any milk container or with or with some of them, I guess, I end up running four or five gallons of milk through the same container. Um, and then I get I get rid of that container, but a lot of sol sometimes there is some solid food down in the bottom of the container. What I'll do in that case is I'll transfer everything in the container. Well, I'll transfer the solid food at the bottom to a new container that has some space. Um, it may have a lot of uh, enough space to take it anyway. Um, and then I start the process all over again um, with the new with the, the the container I transferred to the newer container. Um, I guess I do that, um, well, to some degree, as the container, as the level of milk in the container goes down, you have to tip it farther to get a drink, and that doesn't feel that good. So if I keep transferring milk, I'm, all, I'm usually drinking from a pretty full container. When I finally end up transferring, I often would use a funnel, um, not always, but often. Uh, a big one, and um, I, I, um, uh, there's there's a few techniques, I guess, simple techniques, um, but it's usually a case of you know holding the container over the 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 new putting the the funnel in the new container and holding the old one down and shaking out, all the solid things come out. Um, ideally, they don't come out so fast that they jam the funnel, but they come out. If they do jam the funnel, I take a something like a, a stick, a long, thin thing, and, and push them down into the new, the new milk. Um, if you notice those little black shapes at the bottom of that the one that was behind me, those are actually seeds from date palms. Um, here in Southern California, we have date palms and they drop dates. Uh, and I'll, I'll eat the fruit on the seed and then the seed inside is really hard. Those date seeds have been transferring from milk container well, like I say, they stay in the same milk container for three or four or five gallons worth, and then they just and then they transfer to the new one. They've been transferring for a year, but they're just as hard as ever. They're really hard, and I am curious to see if they'll ever open up or like decay or what's going to happen to them. I want to get to the seeds inside them to eat, but so far that's been difficult, but kind of fun and interesting. Um, but other kinds of solid food can add, end up in the milk too, and they get transferred. Or gum. There could be chewing gum at the bottom of that that'll get transferred with the date seeds and maybe other food. Um, 